All right. Welcome everybody back to another week of you and I League of Legends esports. With this week they're against Roger State. Uh, it's week five. Uh, tonight I'm Joe casting here with Mike. How's it going, Mike? Going pretty good, Joe. Uh, yeah. So you can see the the ban picking ban stream, right? Oh yeah. All right. Let me make sure it's up so that the audience can see it. I almost forgot. All right. So right away, we're going to have Rogers State banning the cane, which is interesting. Or sorry, picking the cane. We see that they banned uh, Azir, Ziggs, and Corky. Uh, they're probably targeting you and I's mid Anders, backlit yep. through stars, or by stars. And you and I is going to ban Nico, Malphite, and Echo. So... I mean pretty solid bans if i mean if you've got a strategy in mind just to ban out your mid lane i mean make them choose something weaker go for it we'll see what happens yeah i agree um especially with how backlit by stars ends up performing in these games i think it's pretty smart for rsu to go ahead and try to ban him out but you know Last week, he did come out with a, an Aurelian Soul pick that ended up really turning the game for his team. Like, they were losing for a very long time in the game, but uh, the A Soul pick really, really shined uh, in the later half of the game. And I'm just surprised that they don't see that they're not, we're not seeing a ban for it. But uh, we are going to see the Rakan and Udir picks in response to the Kane and an Orn pick from RSU. Uh,. I know that you like Udir. Yes, yes. And I'm going to be curious to see um, what the build for Udir is going to be here. So most oh, yeah. popular is obviously AP, but uh, a lot of the times you can you can get away with that, that first damage with that AD, which is what I love doing myself. So we'll just have to kind of wait and see what the build will uh, turn out to be. Yeah, and speaking of uh, AD bursty builds, we see Caitlyn pick from RSU mm -hmm. come through, and I'm interested to see if they're gonna do the um, the lethality Caitlyn that seems to be very popular with Caitlyn right now. Kinda not fun to play against, if I'm gonna yes, be honest. They gotta play it, and gotta play it now before it gets nerfed. So yeah, you respect the pick. Plus, you get to keep your uh, keep a lot of distance with that Rakan. He can just kind of sneak up on you and jump on. So. Picking Caitlyn here is kind of a, a good choice for at least spacing wise, especially with an Udir running you down too. You know, you can you can give yourself some space, which is uh, much needed in some of these these tense moments. Okay, and I am seeing. You can't see this, but in the. Uh... Okay, so I guess. The I guess you and I, you see, they don't have a third pick. I am reading that they Jin. I'm just reading the word Jin. Gotcha. By... <laughs> So I think I think they have Jin. Gotcha. All right. Um, you know I love Jin. I think that's a solid yeah. pick, uh, especially against Caitlyn. I think Jin uh -huh. with a Rakan um, isn't like the best, but it isn't the worst either. I mean he's right. got repeal. He's he's got peel. He's got engage. So I think that's good. Yeah. But um, just not your typical typical pairing. Yeah. So as someone who has. I have, what, almost 500,000 on Jin, Maybe more than that? Uh, I like a support that has some more poke than Rakan has to offer, but uh, I do know Jensel can play a really mean Rakan, so I'm interested, interested to see how that goes. Maybe just looking more towards the mid-game fights rather than uh, winning out the lane right away. Yeah, for sure. Especially with what you were saying, like Rakan just has so much to offer with getting in and getting out really fast. Uh, oh, it's yeah. gonna it's gonna be quite impactful in the mid game. I'm predicting. Definitely. Ah, uh, see an action pick. That's that's uh, definitely want to pick something ranged against that Orn. He just shreds tanks with his W, so it's really not a good pick into Orn. So something like a Vayne, an action, uh, your Quinn's top. You know, uh, very solid pick. I agree, and I think this is going to be a Seraphine mid, maybe, from RSU? I don't know, we'll find out, because they do have to do their second pick right now, but I honestly, if I'm going to be real, if that's a Seraphine mid, okay, it's not. I was going to say, I think I think Backlit by Stars will make light work of a Seraphine mid, just based on what I've seen from him in the past. 
Right. And, and it looks like you and I are going to try to give him the counter pick prio here, um, which I think is smart. Definitely. Especially when you're getting banned out like that. You want to you wanna have your options open as much as possible when they're closed off to you. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so it's going to be a Syndra mid, I think, from you and I. All right, it is. Yep. Looks like it. Now, I don't know that matchup very well. How does it go? Uh, Other than Victor's skills. <laughs> I'm, I don't know, actually, because they're both pretty annoying. I can look up how it's yep. supposed to go. It looks like it's a pretty 50-50 matchup. Got it. Because they both... If, if we look at it, both of them scale pretty well, and yep. yeah. Both poke, both are annoying, both have CC. Alright, and I'm going to switch up the stream here to the lead client so we can just watch the bands in the client itself. And I'm noticing that somebody in the chat asked, can we get some Ocean Man playing? Please and thank you. I would love to play Ocean Man, Mr. or Mrs. or whoever, mini compact AC, but I, I'm i pretty sure that is like, that has rights that we don't have access to. So if I were to do that, we would lose the audio in the recording. So I unfortunately cannot do that. Or rather, I am afraid to do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. But um, yeah, so pretty much they're going to be doing the same bands that we just saw uh, in the browser, but in the client. Um, I think it's interesting we're not seeing a tank from you and I's top lane. Uh, mm -hmm. Drumming Gamer, Brayden hugely picks like tankier characters. Gotcha. Uh, I don't know that I've seen him play action, but I think it could work. Uh, and I don't know if I've seen Destroy Dude play Udyr before, but I, I do know that Brayden is an Orn picker in the top lane, so having someone take that Orn from him, it's not that surprising, because usually it gets banned out or taken from him every week. But we'll well, see. Udyr might have to step up and uh, build a little bit of a tankier path here, just to be a little bit of a front line, but... You know, you never know how these fights work out, you know. You can, we can say, sit here and say all this as, as we want, but um, sometimes you don't need a tank. Sometimes you just have the damage up front that you, you can just blast through and uh, get the job done. So it all depends on how these, these team fights go. Yeah, and I'm, I'm glad that you brought that up, that uh, you and I doesn't really have a frontliner. Um, they only really have Rakan and Udyr, and Rakan doesn't really like to be that frontliner. He right, likes to that role. You know, yeah. he likes to like get a fight started and then peel throughout the fight. Uh, right. But we'll see. You're, um, you're sacrificing a lot of those utility items when you start building into tank as of that support. So you've got to kind of find a happy yeah, medium yeah. where you've got some utility, you've got some peel for your your ADC and your team, but sometimes you just got to add maybe a a thorn mail in there or something just to beef up a little bit. I agree. Um, I also I wanted to ask you, what do you think we're gonna see for uh, Kane? Do you think he's gonna go blue or do you think he's gonna go red? That is the question. Um, I feel like their Kane won't need, won't have the pressure to go red. Um, with that Orn, he kind of steps into that CC role that you would normally see from Red Cane. Um, and you've got that, obviously, that huge Seraphine ult. You know, it's hard to avoid and whatever, plus the Orn ult. So I could definitely see Kodak's going Blue Cane here, especially with how squishy they are. But you never know. There, There's a decent amount of CC. If you get caught by Udyr, um, you get stunned out as Blue Cane. It's... it's kind of a downhill battle from there so kind of hard to say plus you never know what form you're going to hit first it might be just kind of a 
in the moment decision too. That's a point. That's a good point. Yeah, I um, I mean, I would imagine they leaned more towards Red Kane because that's right. pretty typical. But at the same time, I could see Blue Kane working this game because you and I is pretty squishy. Well, sometimes too, it's just nice to have that burst damage. You just you take one person out of the fight and everything changes. You know, you get Jin out of there and all of a sudden you're not getting hit for 900 damage with one auto. So it it really depends. All right, so we are going to have the spectator delay, so we do have to wait for three minutes for that. In the meantime, <clears throat> uh, I'll talk about merch really quick. If you guys watching the stream are interested in purchasing the merch, you can scroll down and click the big merch button, which will take you to esportsgear.com slash collection slash university dash of dash northern dash Iowa. In here, we got jerseys, we got shirts, we got sweatshirts, we got polos and sweatpants. Really, a lot of different apparel. Uh, makes They all make great gifts for the gamer in your life, especially with Christmas coming around the corner. And what I think is cool is with the jerseys, you can put whatever name you want on them. So definitely think about that if uh, there's someone special in your life. Maybe you're a parent watching the stream right now, or you're a friend. And, you know, you see someone on the team that you know and care about doesn't have a jersey or something. You could be the one to get it for them. Who knows? Or you could just buy yourself a hat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyways, if you want to support us, please go ahead to our merch link and do that that way. Otherwise, we have a minute and a half to just hang out here. Yes, we do. So with the ADC lane here, so you mentioned that uh, that lethal lethality Caitlyn. What is that build path looking like typically? Is it the Dusk Blade? Is it what are we looking at here? The Yomu? Sure. Yeah, it's a. I think it's a Yomu's build. Mm -hmm. So she's gonna go. She'll take the uh, what's it called? First Strike Rune. She'll go Yomu's probably Collector and then That's Attack right. Speed Boots. Or Yomu's, then her boots, then a collector. And then she'll be looking to get an Axiom Arc because that is is kind of a key item in this build, if you ask me. Um, and if you just look at the builds one, right? Everybody who wins with this build builds a Axiom Arc. Because her ult scales with crit. Right. Yeah. Well, I, I'm just curious because... It's it's interesting that they that you and I saw that Kate pick early on and decided not to go as tanky, because um, that that ult you you keep getting ulted by Caitlyn and pretty soon half your health is gone before a fight even starts. So true. Very very curious to see uh, how you and I plans on countering that. Yeah, I'm curious too, uh, especially because. Um... Like, Caitlyn does have that really good range, so she beats Action for range, she beats Udyr, she'll beat Syndra. The only one who can really get close to her, or not close, but kind of fight with her is oh, Jin. Oh, yeah. But even so, Jin will... I, I don't think he wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with her for oh, no. a long time in the game. Right. Well, it takes a while for him to get to that point, too. The, the problem with, like, lethality is it starts coming online a lot sooner than some of your crit items start piling up. So we'll have to see. Yeah. I have to give my computer a second here. It is struggling. Okay, there we go. Oh. I'm trying to make sure that the stream right. is showing the league client. We've got the cleanse on Jin. Um, honestly, <laughs> I would too. I would take that cleanse in a heartbeat. There is so much on their team that can get you pinned down. I would take that a lot of the time. Now, curiously, Rakan did not take the heal, so we'll have to see how, how that plays out. Yeah, Rakan took the exhaust, which is interesting. I wish... Uh... I 
essentially sort of show my client Alright. Yes, now we we're are loaded in, uh, but we cannot see it on the stream, which is not the best. Give me a second here. Apologize to everyone. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Huh, I don't know why. Oh, game client, that's the issue. Whoops, all right, so let me fix this really quick. Sorry, all right. Okay, now everybody at home can see. That's my bad, apologies. We will do this here. So you and I usually likes to do this thing, Mike, where they just cover all the entrances to the jungle and they're gonna be doing that this game too. Smart, it's nice. I it's also a lot of information that you get from uh from that yeah but uh we're gonna be seeing roger state have their cane start at raptors and you and i does know they have this ward here yep. very good ward. um let me get rid of now, it's interesting that um destroy is also starting raptors kind of an atypical udir start at least from what i usually oh play. man he didn't... Oh, the cane didn't buy a jungle item. I'm just oh. realizing. <laughs> Interesting. He We've bought, all been there. He all bought been two there. pots, did not buy an item. We've all been there. Yep, I was wondering. Health's looking a little low for, for a cane, especially. Well, if you... Oh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure you and I is going to notice that. Yeah. Especially because of this ward. But yeah. we're going to look bot lane here as Roger State hits... And you and I hit their level two. See if anything goes down. I don't think anything's gonna happen. Jin giving them lots of space. Uh, as would I. A little bit of farming simulator twenty three. Oh. We're gonna see Kane go from his Raptors back straight to his blue, which is I think is interesting. He doesn't go to the other side of his jungle. I think this is a good call by Kane. Uh, uh, might be a little scared that they saw him back. Maybe they were trying to do some shenanigans, oh. push that that buff when, when he was back. But, okay, let's see. Oh, the cane oh, flashed. Flashes on drumming. Orn flash on drumming Both too. Flashes. Unfortunate. Oh, man. I mean, in that situation, what can you really do? I mean, as as. You're backing, you're you're expecting to get out there, and uh, all of a sudden a cane pops out of the wall, you know? Just hoping mm -hmm. that back goes through beforehand, but unfortunately it did not for Drumming Gamer. I'm gonna switch. There we go. You see Udir taking the bot scuttle here. Uh, currently, nothing going. Uh, no crazy successful gank from you and I's jungler destroy. I, I'm not surprised by that. Udir's no. earlier ganks are not as strong as say Kane's, but Why we. Not? But he, if he does get into the fight here, I think he wins, especially with backlit by stars rotating up. Kane gets out of there, no problem. Mm -hmm. Cause of that scuttle. And. uh we do have a ward on Roger State red buff, so as soon as Kane gets to that side of the jungle, Udir will know and we'll see what he does with that information. Bot lane getting shoved in. I mean, this is kind of where you want to be at this point with, with two laners against you that are that are gonna poke you out so much that you kinda don't want to contest 
uh, for the sake of health. Because if a gank comes through, that cane can be lethal, and you just kind of want to play it easy for a little bit here. Mm -hmm. but yeah, very good point on the Udir. It's going to take a while for him to kind of get that potential. He, he needs a good amount of levels. I'd say about level 5 before he starts really uh, trying to go in and make things happen. Mm -hmm. um, see what the CS is looking like. Okay. So we are going to... Uh, what? Oh, sorry. I was just going to point out that Kane is ahead in gold right now because of that first blood that he got. Um, it might be difficult for Udyr to come back from, especially because Kane was able to get an extra camp because of his weird back thing, but right. we'll see as Udyr picks up a Blasting Wand in base. We'll see what Kane buys here with his money. If he's going to back or if he's going to go for this early Drake take. I think he is going to go for the early Drake. With, with that Seraphine, you can just kind of tank the, the Drake this early. You just get those shields. Um, Caitlyn's doing enough damage to help you out if, if she decides to join him. But it looks like Victor, Fantasmic, Fantastic, sorry. Yeah, I think it's interesting. Uh, well, I mean, it's definitely good team play on the side of RSU for like grouping together and getting this Drake really quick because Udir would suspect that they're over there, but he doesn't even bother checking. He's just power farming right now. It's yeah. interesting. I mean, I'm not usually expecting a level four Drake, but uh, that's probably what Rogers was thinking. Let's just take this Drake. We're all here. We're all here now. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. So Udir is going to be in this bot lane or bot side river. Just going to go for the scuttle. Maybe not go for a gank here. I don't really see a gank happening bot with it shoved in. And mid is just pretty safe because like all Victor's got to do is throw down a W and like make sure he spaces properly and he should be pretty fine. And at some point here, he's just going to be able to eat the wave and just walk away and uh, no harm, no foul. Yeah. We're going to see Udyr looking for an invade here and perhaps even a dive on RSU's bot lane. We'll see, though. We'll see. The, the minions are not there at the tower. So a little bit of poke on to destroy there. They are going to get the red ward out of that try. A little bit of vision control. Interested to see if Kane looks for another gank topside. He's looking like he wants it as he takes this fruit here. Mm -hmm. We'll see, especially as action st steps into vision here, if Kane just All turns right. around. Although he is, he does know that oh. Udyr's bot, and he could oh. go for the invade. But he also is looking mid He's at looking Anders. At He's yeah. At see Let's the Victor look. W go down and try to catch Anders, and we see the Victor ult go down, and it's the not flash? enough as Anders and oh. Kane both flash. Yeah, that was, uh, Backlit has been pushed up and kind of bullying this Victor all game, so um, kind of makes sense to punish that now and uh, ignore top for the time being. Really quick, we're going to look at the gold values here. Top lane for Rogers State is a little bit behind the action. Action's doing a great job, Braden, on farming. However, the jungle is significantly ahead like 800 gold ahead mm -hmm. uh mid lane anders is ahead he's doing better farming and bot lane nick is ahead doing a little bit better farming so pretty much the only difference here in this game is the kills on kane right. and i i don't think that's necessarily that bad like it's it sucks for you and i uh mm -hmm. as a position to like deal with of kane who's fed because he can be very oppressive to deal with but at the same time, it's just the cane that they have to worry about. So as long as right. they shut down the cane, they're right back in the game. Exactly. As but I say that. As the other other side of the coin is, you get all these ganks off his cane, and you're just one step closer to that form, and that's when you really start doing the damage here. Yeah, and Lots. it looks like I'm guessing Kane is gonna go with the red form because he did buy that iron spike whip on his first back. He also built a Doran's blade, which I've never seen a jungler build. <laughs> Have you seen that? I have not. <laughs> I have not, but That's hey. Interesting. Looks like Kane really wants this gank bot. He's been bot lane here for about 30 seconds. 
and he's just hiding in the jungle near this blast yeah. plant. Waiting for this wave. He's got ult up. It's perfect. Goes in to start. Mm. Big Seraphine ult. That's gonna be a kill. That Seraphine ult was pretty crazy. Yeah. I think Caitlyn ult hit the gin there too because she did <laughs> use it. But unfortunately for Destroy, it's a little bit hard to keep up with the cane yeah. because he, although Udyr is fast, he cannot run through the walls. Oh. We're gonna see most of the gold is still pretty even, or yeah. even or ahead in favor of you and I, except for the jungler. Well, some of these farm differences I'm looking at, uh, the mid lane is. Uh... Pretty big difference there. I mean, oh, these, yeah. these numbers are adding up, and even if you're a kill down and Victor's got an assist, you can really, really uh, start running away with this CS lead. Yeah, and and uh, Backlit by Stars does have his Leandres already, so he is going to be dealing quite a bit more damage. Oh, we see Nick oh. with the Jin ult, and Anders with the... Oh, man. Okay, so <laughs> Anders and Gentil and Nick did a really good job of cutting off that uh, Victor there really quick, picking up an easy kill. So well played by you and I, good communication. Well, and just getting that mid lane control for these, these drakes is, is always so big, so. Uh, yeah. It's, oh, it's... when they're not done, they're gonna be going on the oh. Seraphine oh. here who does have to blow her flash to get away. Unfortunately, that is Syndra's ult down and on cooldown. That for... is. Syndra's ult down, but that's Seraphine out of this Drake fight. If they wanted to contest, that's just one less person to have to deal with. That's true, and not having that Seraphine ult is going to make contesting pretty difficult. Although Kane, Kane can just kind of go through the wall and go for a steal. Yeah, that's true. We'll that's see true. if I don't think he's going to go for it now because he knows he's way outnumbered and outvisioned. Yeah. <laughs> really quick, we're going to go to Blue's vision and just see that they kind of don't know. Next. Exactly. So. We'll go back here. Just is coming in with the ult. Yeah, the Rakan ult and the Syndra combo. Are they going to be able to take down Victor for another kill on him? Not quite. Enough. quite enough. That Victor R is so pesky, always. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's got the silence at the start. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. Caitlyn's just going to walk up and ult the Jin. It looks like she is not building Lethality Caitlyn, which is an interesting call. I mean... I would... I, I like this call um, from from the Kate. I, I like the ability to crit out rather than getting stale kind of to the, the late mid game to the very late game. Your Lethality starts falling off a bit, so I think, I think it makes sense that uh, she's trying... Trying to go in for the long haul here. That's true. We do see the Syndra get first turret and mid really quick. I'm just going to point out that you and I overall is ahead in gold by about 2,000, despite the jungler for RSU having such a lead. Although the gap is closing. Gap is closing here. Those those kills really. I mean, we're just back in the game and obviously ahead, like you said, by 2k gold, which nothing to sneeze at here. We're going to see a little bit of a scuffle between Syndra and Victor. We're going to see Jin ult go down. Maybe go. he's going to be able to catch him here. He's Doesn't not, look like he has any vision. Yeah, he's not able to see him nor find him. But he's going to turn into a 3v3 as Kane is there. And Kane flashes into the Syndra combo and is just shut down. Unfortunate for the Kane. Well played, backlit by stars. Seeing that the Kane was really going to commit there, that was good. And that Syndra stun, even if you don't get hit by the ball, the push... Always is once again so pesky. Like, it doesn't it slow you? Being so pesky. Yeah, I think it slows after too. We're gonna see backlit by stars. Look for an, an opportunity to roam here because he does have that turret taken down. He can look for these roaming opportunities with his wave pushed in. As the wave is crashing in top, are they gonna backlit. go for the dive? Does have ult up, but here comes TP. It's gonna be Victor's TP. I don't think that's a good TP. Ooh. Oh, nice combo between drumming Very and backlit. Using both alts. Unfortunately, the Orn was a little bit far behind to Ooh, try and Victor block. Victor Flash, too. 
Oh man, that's big for you and I. That is pretty big. Just opens up the mid lane and uh, opens up farming and Syndric can now kind of roam and try and make some plays happen. So we're gonna see you and I get spotted by RSU's bot lane. It doesn't look like anything's gonna happen here, but Backlit by Stars is still on the push the wave and roam game. He ran mid, pushed a wave after that play top, and he's just looking for another gank here bot. One good QE from Backlit makes this dive very, very possible. There's the QE. Jin root it's lands. Rakan W ult. Seraphine ult going down. It's not enough to save his team. Backlit's gonna have to flash to survive turret aggro. And Udir is gonna make it out. Oh, a little bit of extra <laughs> aggro there. Yeah. I was, was about to say, very clean dive. <laughs> no, it was a very good dive. Very good dive. Here comes Victor. Meanwhile, Try and stave off the. <laughs> yeah, Kane, here. Kane is going to notice and take advantage of this fact that things are going on bot. And I, I didn't call it earlier, but. Wait, who got the kill? Oh, okay, it was action on the. Mm -hmm. Okay. My bad. Uh oh. He's going to be running straight into this Ornn here. Is he going to be able to make it out? I think he is, as backlit by stars, he's going to go for the TP onto the creep and just protect Drumming and make sure he doesn't get dove. Something to take note of. Um, objective bounties are up for Rogers. So we'll see if they can get some of that gold. Oh, yeah. Um, from that scuttle, or from that, that herald. Seeing if our macros here are coming out to play just to try and pump Rogers full, uh, a little bit more. Um, fill, their, fill their coffers, if you will. Looking a little, a little empty compared to you and I. Okay, and I am seeing something in the chat. I'll point out if nothing happens here um, about the Dorans on jungle. We're seeing Rakan go for the W in. And Seraphine having to flash out to not get caught there. Meanwhile, Caitlyn does end up going down. Jin ult going down here. He's going to land all four shots, but not do much damage mm -hmm. to the Kane. As Jensel is going to ult, he's looking for going the engage. He gets the W on the Kane, and the Kane's really caught right now. Backlit by Stars big. is going to pick up the kill. He's looking for the other kill on the, si on the Seraphine, God. and he's able to find it. That's that some crazy big. damage. From that this. is crazy. <laughs> that is wild. So, uh, while we're hanging out here, uh, someone in the chat pointed out that Doran's Blade on jungle is meta now since they buffed starter items, which I think is uh, interesting. Now you and I is getting this Mountain Drake completely uncontested. Very good picks from you and I. Yeah, and they do have about a 6,000 gold lead, or 5,000, I can't do math. And uh, that, that Kane jungle gap is pretty closed at this point, I think. It's now, uh, I guess he's still ahead in gold by 900, but I don't know. I don't think it matters. Just because hey, Backlit, Backlit's roams this whole game uh, have just been basically a secondary jungler. I mean, yeah, he's, he's translating. Time. He's really good at translating his lead into oh, a lead. For we'll take a, <laughs> take a little bit of damage there. That's all right. Okay, so Kane was going for a gank bot, and Jensel's going to do his best to peel the Jin. And the, oh, the Seraphine ult goes through the Kane, extending it, and hits them both there. Kane's gonna ult into the Jin. and he's gonna go under turret. Get See a little hairy. Get a kill. He's not taking very oh. much damage. Oh, oh, well played by you and I. Very well played. Just Staggering cool. out damage and the keeping, CC. Oh man. Keeping Jin alive. <laughs> Back of my stars just shows up and vaporizes <laughs> Caitlyn. What the heck? Gentle, yeah, that is tricky. When when your ADC is under fire and you you start common, you know, get this guy off of me. But Gentle did a very good job of uh, keeping it under wraps and keeping cool and seeing where Kane pops out. That's always the question. Where's this guy gonna pop out? How can I help? <laughs> Speaking of popping out, we see Jumping Gamer behind the Orn here. He's gonna be going for some poke damage. Maybe he'll go for the all in here. Doing quite a bit of damage. Is he gonna go for the chase? Orn's gonna flash uh, away, which I think is out. really interesting. Yeah, just maybe one good E will get you away from that as Orin, but... Yeah, I mean, and Action didn't even use his E. I think that was a little bit premature from the Orin. 
Well, Who knows though? What does what does drumming uh, have built here? If we could take a look. He does. He does not have a vor. That, yeah, but that kraken slayer is no joke. Press the attack. That that kraken. We see the ornal that, go that... down and miss on drumming. Yeah, the Kraken does do a lot of damage. I was I was just worried, like, maybe he had a Bork and was going to go for the chase. Right. But... Slowing down. Looks like Kane is desperate for a kill here. We're going to see Jensel go with the ult oh. in, and the W on Rakan hit no. three members of RSU. This fight is looking pretty grim for RSU as Kane oh. ults, and he's not going to be able to live as Orn goes down, and Kane goes down to the Jin. That, it, it, this, the saddest thing ever when Shelly doesn't make it to the tower either. Um, Nick Fury was just attacking that that herald. And everybody was kind of doing damage to it just to make sure it did not get there. The Jensel's, Jensel's Rakan is so nasty, man. Yes. And that three man ult, crazy. He perfectly eed in during his ult, charmed <laughs> all three of RSU, let them be charmed for a second, and then knocked them up. That was really well played. As you and I is gonna go for the 20 minute Baron here. I will say. <laughs> oh, Jensen oh, flashes oh, over the, the wall. Rare flash, the rare flash. Oh, that a is crazy a flash. Game. What was going on there? I like that. <laughs> that, that, is, uh, that is a crazy move. I, I, I haven't. I didn't know that was a, uh, a recon spell. But it's uh, a dark tech. <laughs> yes, the dark tech. You'll see why later, I guess. It's an investment. Right, looks like Rogers is trying to just get any kind of gold here, take down this turret, but when you see backlit, all you can do is run. <laughs> yeah, he's so ahead. He's getting he's got his Leandres, he's got his cosmic, and he's almost oh, done man. with his Rabadons. He's got both needlessly larges. There's one Syndra one... is a force to be reckoned with <laughs> right now. Oh, it's crazy. One QE and that's pretty much all your health. You don't even need the ult at that point. It's crazy. Um, I'm trying to see if we put the camera on Syndra. I'm trying to read uh, whether or not she, what abilities she has upgraded, because I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, it like doesn't show, you know what I mean? Right, I get you. Okay, so actually she's, um, she's almost finished. That is crazy. So those of you who don't know, when Syndra gets 120 splinters of wrath, which is when she lands, she gets one splinter whenever she lands, uh, like a combo, two different spells on an enemy, and she gets a couple more when she gets a takedown. When she gets to a total of 120, she basically gets the Rabadons in her kit. We're gonna see a lot of a, a lot of spells here. go down, and that it looks like cool. Roger's state is only gonna be able to pick up the Rakan at this point as Jin. It just pops, Kane. Trading a one for one, yeah. They, you and I stood in that uh, that Victor ult. That that Victor. We've been talking about the Syndra and the Syndra damage and the Syndra ult, but that Victor ult is no joke. When, when you're all stacked up, it, yeah, it jads up. Especially with the uh, Ludens. And I want to point out, Jin did go Yumus, which is my okay. secret dark tech. It is a pretty <laughs> good go. item on Jin. Yeah. I mean, that move speed, you know, you get a little bit of lethality mixed in, what can you... Uh... I think it's a little bold against the Orn pick, just because he does get so tanky. But uh, we'll see here, as he is barely going to make it out of the Victor W and be able to live. Meanwhile, bot lane, backlit by stars, is going to get another inhib turret. And RSU hasn't even cracked you and I's base yet. Look at, they still have all their tier 1s. All so. three. You know, Mike. This is this is a classic. This is a classic you and I purple game, because they. I'm not saying that you and I purple always. And it looks like he picks up another kill. Uh, I'm not saying you and I purple always loses the early game, but they will have a tendency to lose the early game and just go absolutely crazy in the mid game. Kind of play. Yep. I mean, that's a strategy in and of itself. You know, you got to sometimes just play for that mid game. You might have to contest some objectives, contest some kills, but you know go for that mid game and that, that ramping up sometimes that's how you gotta play that's how you win putting some real pressure on the nexus here at least the nexus turrets see how far they can walk it in here oh Kane's gonna go for the flash W on Rakan is not able to connect 
As Udyr just man, he stuns him when he gets away. <laughs> Is he gonna get away? Second. He's gonna oh. get away. Went for that back line and then said, oh, there's a cane in front of me, better not. Meanwhile, top lane is just getting pushed in by the action. Victor's gonna go have to stop him. Mm -hmm. You and I wants RSU to waste their time in the spot lane right now. As Jin comes from the base. If Jin gets there, things are gonna look bad for RSU as Caitlyn flashes away from Syndra. That's two flashes on RSU that's down. Uh-huh. Now, Orn's coming down here, and at this point, Orn it's kind of hard to pit him against action top trying to clear those waves and whatever so you're gonna have to alloc allocate source or resources uh, for action but what can you really do is orn at this point other than kind of walk away double supers coming in on each wave here That's yeah gonna be beautiful for rogers here so it looks like uh i mean i would just say that rogers is on is on life support at this point. Right. 25 minutes in, you and I has a 15,000 gold lead. I don't know how Rogers is gonna make it back. They have to win so many team fights back to back to right. back. And I just don't think that you and I is gonna let it happen, especially with no. the action pick. As long as action stays alive, right. you know he can just get a pick and revive whoever dies. Exactly. Or if he gets in a pinch, he can just stealth out of there, you know, and just come back to fight another day here. And I don't think anybody else is going to try and go solo here on UNI. Your best bet is just clumping up and pushing it down. Yeah, so nope. UNI is going to notice that Orn was up top capturing that creep wave. And they're just going to do all they can to get oh. the kills right now. And oh, Drumming Gamer drumming. gets in there. He picks up the kill on the Kaelin really quick. He's going to be able to dodge the Kane W. Meanwhile, Orn's CCing his team. Shh. Just autoing the base at this point, and yeah. there is game one. That's gonna be game one for you and I. I mean, at that point, what can you really do? You've got double supers coming in from each wave, and you and I's just going, hey, let's four man stack, let's push this, let's end it. Make it quick, make it painless. Really quick, we're gonna look at the stats here, and right after we look at the stats, I am gonna have to take a quick break and. During that time, I will just play some nice music. And look at this damage Bam. from Syndra. That is crazy. 29, almost 30,000 damage from just Syndra. And 17,000 damage from Action. You know, we didn't see him doing crazy amounts of damage, but he must have just been wailing on Orn all game. Uh -huh. Wailing on him. But really good showing by you and I for this first game. A really good job Definitely. by Anders, especially with translating his lead into a victory for his team. I like the Udyr score, 006. That's what I'm talking about right there. It's a perfect Udyr game. But uh, yeah, so I will be right back. And when I'm back, we will be looking at bands for the next All game. Right. Welcome to the world, no heroes and villains. Welcome to the war, we've only begun. So pick up your weapon and face it. There's blood on the ground, go and take it. You get one shot to make it out alive. So higher and higher, you chase it. It's deep in your bones, go and take it. This is your moment. Now is your For the summit, visions pray the one falls steadily the end. So higher and higher you chase it, it's deep in your blood, go and take it. This is your moment, take to the skies, go prove yourself.
Alright, okay, we are back here, getting ready to ban for game two. Uh, let me make sure we can see it. Hang on. Alright. Alright. Hang on, we're going to be getting new links. Just one second here. So yeah, it was a really good first game by you and I. Uh, I'm interested to see what is going to go on for game two. So a lot of the times with these games, we see the other team ban out like everything that they can find that Backlit by Stars plays, but he always like comes out with some pick that like I never saw coming, or especially <laughs> the other team. Right. So I'm interested to see if they they go for that again. Or, uh, oh, okay. All I want to see is a Cho'Gath mid, if I'm going to be honest, but... Ooh, that would be fun. Okay, so we are going to be starting with the Azir ban from RSU, with an Echo okay. ban from UNI, Ziggs ban from RSU, and a Malphite ban from UNI. We'll see. Yep, a Syndra yep, ban from our Syndra. I yep, understandable. Very understandable. I'm telling you, Mike, if they, if you and I decides to draft that late game team comp, it's gonna be nasty if the Aurelian Soul gets through. Last week, I really, I really, <laughs> I hope to see it. We are gonna see RSU go with the Kane again. again. That Pryo on the Kane pick, I think, is interesting. I mean, Rogers did have that early game lead because of that cane and maybe they're just looking to That's have true. a better comp around uh all around just to kind of work around with that cane um we'll have to see here yeah uh i think i think maybe a little bit more of a better comp around the cane would work right. i don't know though uh we are going to see you and i go with the gin again I think, honestly, if Rogers wants to run the Kane again, they need to make sure all the gold doesn't go on to Kane. Because right. I think that ended up, they ended up shooting themselves right. in the foot. Exactly. Uh, okay, so it's not actually a Jin pick, it's a Melio pick. Okay. So. Melio yeah. Mordekaiser. Melio and Mordekaiser so far. So Mordekaiser <laughs> is an interesting pick. That I like seeing awesome. Mord. I love seeing Mord. We're to see a misfortune and Lux pick from RSU. So, you know, I said a minute ago, maybe they'll, and you said, maybe they'll build around the cane a little bit more, but it looks like they're not really doing that as misfortune and Lux. Like, I, I don't really know how well they pair with cane. Mm -hmm. More, more lane focused rather than uh, team fight. Game fight. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I, have, I think that's going to be a Lux support. I'm not sure though. I mean, you mix CC with Misfortune, and uh, you're always going to have a good time. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so they're going to go... <laughs> it's going to go Emilio, Mordecai's, or Jin. Got it. Well, this whole time we've been talking about... Uh, backlit but nick fury was nothing to sneeze at um that last game on that gin um there were a couple fights there that one gin auto just took a caitlin or the cane or the victor out of the fight so mm -hmm. uh, kind of excited to see that again here yeah i'm excited too uh i'm excited to see where this mord is going to be going <laughs> that is the question yeah, I mean, what do you mean? I would imagine he's going top, but uh, don't bleep on Jungle Mordekaiser. Yeah, do not do. He'll sneak up on you. Victor ban again, uh, or this time round. I can see why. You know that Victor was getting kind of annoying, and uh, 
once you hit that late game as Victor, I don't like going against it. No, I don't like it either. There's the Corky ban. Now I'm very curious. Now I want to see this this backlit Corky. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. So I also want to point out. Um, we've seen teams do this before versus you and I. And I just I don't really understand the thinking. We see them ban stuff like Alawi after we see oh, the yeah. Mordekaiser show. I I just don't know why. Because. I mean, I guess Mordecai, I, I said a minute ago, like, we'll see where Mordekaiser goes, but, like, we're pretty sure he's going to go top. Yeah, pretty sure it's about a... So, I, I, I don't really know about the Alawi ban, um, okay. but maybe they know something I don't. Right. Uh, and we are going to see the Orn get picked by RSU again, and Warwick get picked by you and I. So, it is going to be a Mordekaiser top. Well, sometimes it's just better to go with... Uh that 5% off chance that it is a Mordekaiser jungle and just get that uh, Alawi out of the way if they think it's going to be pesky. It looks like we're going to finish up with a Talia and Oriana in the mid lane. Uh, okay. I think Talia wins that. Let me check. I'm pretty sure Talia wins that. Mm. Especially with that changed E, you just get so much more range on it. It's just more poke yeah but... i'm pretty sure she has more range on her q than right oriana but at the same time i don't see i don't know it, it it's interesting we'll see how it plays out uh i know that oriana is like kind of like stealth like not secret pretty good right now so right we'll see uh let me bring up the lead client and so you can see it also, looking at Roger's team comp, that that I, with some of those ults, some of the CC in there, it's nothing to sneeze at. That can get to be a pretty deadly combo. You get an Oriole into an Orin ult. Mm -hmm. I mean, it... I I almost feel like the Seraphine would have been a better pick with the Oriana and yeah. Orin this time. I think I think the Seraphine was a pretty solid pick. It was just sometimes you get dove and there's nothing you can do about it. You get frustrated. You pick something else. You know. Sure. <laughs> Right. Um, I'm interested to see if Kane builds a jungle item at the start of this game. If he <laughs> if he doesn't, if he doesn't, it's he was doing it on trash. purpose. Yeah, yeah he knows yeah. something I don't. Uh -huh. Right. I don't know. Because well, he. I learned started... the Norton's Blade strat, so I mean, you never know. He started double potion, so. I right. Well, I mean. Miss input. <laughs> we'll see. I'm also interested to see how the Mordekaiser Orn matchup goes. Yeah. I want to say Mordekaiser wins. I don't know though. I'm guessing. It's... I'm, I'm looking now. Mordekaiser is actually in a pretty not good spot top lane. Mm hmm. It's been that way for a while. Um, plus, Orn can be, do some sneaky damage with that W. I mean, it really chunks that max health. And you hit a good QEW on Orn, and all of a sudden, the opponent's health is just. Where's it at? You know? That's... Although, I'll tell you what, Mike. Um, what they usually do, I've noticed in these drafts, like what you're looking at right now, is they'll uh -huh. match up Orn top versus Warwick top, and then Kane jungle versus more jungle, Orianna versus Talia mid, and then like they do the ADCs, and then they do the supports. So I'm thinking maybe it's actually a Mordekaiser jungle. Hmm. Um, I mean, that Warwick top is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, that's I true. Know. Uh, pretty lethal here. All right. We'll see. I mean, I hate going. I keep saying this. I, uh, the stuff I don't like going against, but Warwick top. 
Oh, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. It's he just he. It feels like you're doing no damage. He queues for a, his full health bar back. He's autoing minions for health back, and then, like, what do you do? Yeah, I could just be uh, baited by am... the uh, just how it is. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see once we start loading in. But um, I want to take a second to point out Jin Melio as a Jin player is not my favorite combo. Mm -hmm. I feel like Melio, uh, like ADCs who auto more benefit more from Melio, kind of like Lulu. Right, right. But Jin Melio is certainly better than like Jin Lulu. Uh, yeah. Misfortune well, Lux is really annoying to play against. Yes, yes it is. I was going to add on to that. Uh, is it Melio's W or is E that gives attack speed? So once again, you're looking at a Jinx. You're looking at a Kogma. You're looking it's at e. yeah. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, maybe come these team fights that that Milio ult um, can really put in some work. So maybe they're just looking for for later in the game. We'll have to see here. Uh, really quick, just the case you were not here before and missed the previous merch advertisement. Uh, if you were, just you know, close your ears because I'm doing it again. Uh, if you guys are interested <laughs> in supporting the team, you can go down and scroll down on your Twitch page to the merch link. It'll take you to esportsgear.com slash collection slash university dash of dash northern dash Iowa. There are jerseys, shirts, sweatshirts, beanies, sweatpants, all kinds of apparel. Makes a great Christmas gift for the gamer in your life, especially those jerseys you could put your own gamer tag or nickname on. I like that. Um, apparently, they are way cheaper than regular jerseys, too. Someone was casting me with, with me one week and he said he spent like dollars on a jersey, and these ones are like $35.99. So, definitely check that out if you want to support us or don't. If you don't want to, it's fine. <laughs> Um, we won't cry about it. Yeah, we won't cry, but <laughs> but we'd love it if you if you would. Uh, either way, thanks for tuning in. I'm excited to be getting into game two here in uh, a minute. I am not seeing the stream here. Oh, that might be my bad. There is nothing going on. Let me, uh, because we still have like 50 more seconds on the spectator delay, so I think I'm just going to wait. Sounds good. To stream it to you. Sounds good. Hold. Here we go. I hope that loads you right into the, the other one. And this time I won't mess up. I will be able to show everybody the load screen and show people the mastery. <laughs> Okay. I'm curious here. Uh, the build on Mordekaiser has changed. Um, back in my day, I used to build the Riftmaker. <laughs> now, nowadays, all the youngins are building this this newfangled Jack show. So we'll kind of see. I mean, I'm I I love Mordekaiser at heart, and uh, he'll always have a special place in my heart. But uh, feels so different. From back in the day, you know, all these metas change and everything, and uh, oh, there it is. You're correct, Joe. Oh, it is a more You're jungle. Correct. Let's go. Oh, I'm excited. So, yeah, we'll have to see how the build changes, translates to jungle, but yeah, the whoa, Warwick top with barrier. Oh, man. Now, I want to tell you, I did look it up while we were waiting. Um, Warren, I think, has the more favorable matchup there, but I think it's going to depend on how out of control Warwick gets. With just how Warwick is, like, late game, he's not going to be nearly as useful as the Orn, but oh. I don't know. You and I have been able to play for picks quite a bit, um, and they are that's definitely one of their strengths is, is I'm pretty sure a lot of the times it'll be, like, backlit by stars or destroy dude. <laughs> okay, the a bait is a, a little oh, bit man. of a poke. A little bit of a BM there. I like it. <laughs> That's a great spam there. I love it. 
I was going to say, going along with that, um, kind of hard as, as Mord to come in with these ganks. You don't have a lot of those ganking tools like Kane does, but Warwick kind of makes up for that with that fear. So we'll see. It's kind of hard to gank an Orn, though. We are going to see Jin start Boots, and he is going to be taking the Dark Harvest. I did not pay close enough attention last game to see if he took Dark Harvest. I would imagine he did with the Yumus, but... Yeah. We'll see. I love a good Dark Harvest Jin game. Um, as a Jin player, it is important for me to mention that if you do not get like some procs on the Dark Harvest early, it is going to be way less useful to you late game than the Fleet Footwork will, because the Fleet Footwork move speed is super duper like helpful. Yeah. Looks like Kodax is going to start with the blue. <laughs> And he is, and he is gonna, yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna start Raptors with the jungle item this time. So it was not the strat, but uh, been there too many times to count. Yeah, I've been there as well. And he's gonna one be doing. The, hmm, what's up? I was gonna say one of the big things with Mordecai's jungle, and uh, I used to run Mordecai's jungle a lot, is they changed the way that. Passive works with his autos on jungle camps, so instead it only works on the quote unquote big minions of the camp. Sure. So once that minion is dead, um, that passive no longer is going off. Not a huge change, but it definitely does have a little bit of an impact on how much how healthy Mordekaiser is going to come out of. Uh... Well, we're going to see where we get the first blood top. I wish I was looking. <laughs> Sorry, I was rambling on. <laughs> no, you're good. I can go back really quick. Uh. Let's go back a little bit more. Okay, so it looks like up in top lane, Orn did not respect Warwick level 2 and decided to fight him over the wave. And really good positioning by Brayden here as he gets behind the Orn, he has nowhere to run but I... into him. So really well, well done there. As a laner, you're kind of conditioned. Oh, I got this guy low. Let's go in. Let's see what I can do. Get a little bit of poke, maybe get the kill. But I mean, with a Warwick, that is almost impossible. He'll just heal up. He'll do. He'll do damage and get back from that. So. So we're gonna see Kane seeing the gank opportunity top here. He's not gonna be able to get much off of it as Warwick is able to just press E and walk away. Get the fear on the both of them there. Jumping had a really good Q there. He Q'd. Yeah, that was good. But I see he Q'd from the other side to uh, get that fear off on both Kodaks and Nolan up there. So. Maybe a bit of a scuttle fight here. Yeah, we are seeing Destroy call for the assistance on the scuttle, but I don't think he's going to be able to get it as Talia is pushed in. He is going to look for it, but it's not going to be anything. And we'll see. Yeah, Kane's going to have to submit, or that's not the right word, but he's going to have to give the bot scuttle to Mord as, as <laughs> he has not cleared his top jungle yet to try to go for that gank. I think this is more in Mordekaiser's favor in terms of worth and jungle pacing. Right. He's in a good position here too to uh, get this scuttle, but then, oh, look down here. But uh, looks like bot lane has caught on to his antics here. He is gonna look for the, the yeah. E anyways. You gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. You gotta go for it. Nick Fury looking a little low. I mean, that's kind of to be expected. Uh, that Lux poke is constant, never ending. We're gonna see a gank here from Kane. Gonna flash on the backlit by stars as he uses his W and flashes away. We're gonna see the Talia and Kane flashes go out here. Good E by backlit there. Get him off your tail. Yeah. We're gonna see Mordekaiser take. It looks like he's going for a second clear before he backs, which I think is interesting. I think he could get away with that. Yeah. You definitely can as more jungle, but once again, you, you start. You, it takes a while to get uh, online and get that gank potential, but uh, once you start buying these items, we'll see. I mean, that's every champion, but we're gonna see Braden do a really good job zoning the Orn off of the wave here as it's frozen in front of his turret. <laughs> oh man, I would hate to be Orn right now. Yeah, me too. Oh, he's gonna Dude. flash onto the Orn. He's gonna get his E. Is he going to be... Oh, and Orn's going to have to uh, flash away. Oh, well, yeah. Meanwhile, in the I mean, bot lane, we're going to see Mordekaiser going for the gank. He's going to be queuing the Lux. Is he going to be able to make the kill on the Lux? He is. Killed. 
Jin is still alive, but he's low. He's got to keep his distance here as Milio's keeping Mordekaiser up. Backing off for now. I mean, as an Orn, what can you do? Uh, your whole thing is trying to get in melee range, just kind of be annoying, but how are you supposed to do that against a Warwick, you know? Yeah, but all I think all Orn needs to do to win this matchup is to just... Oh, we're going to see Raiden ult the Orn. Try to go for another Whoa. kill on him. That was a really good E. Almost getting the kill. So, as I was saying, I think all Orn has to do is just survive and not do what he's doing now. All Orn needs to do is sit under turret in moments like this uh -huh. and bait a dive out of the Warwick because I don't think Warwick can get away with this dive. He's going to find oh, the gonna Orn get... and he's going to be able to get... He's going to get this kill. Brayden's going to be doing yep. the kill on yep. the Orn. Well played. This Orn, just, because he can just build stuff in the lane, he needs to just sit there and get XP. Yep. yep. That's good, Ak. We're going to see Kane go top. Now, I just want to point out, Kane did take Dark Harvest, and he is building a straight at Dark. So it looks like he's going to be going for blue Kane, but he has only gotten... Um, I I think he got some points for the ranged people in bot, but I don't know. We're going to see Mordekaiser, jungle, looking top for this gank here, as the Talia is looking top for the rotate. We're going to see the Oriole go down and miss, as Mordekaiser is going to be walking down. The Orn right now, there's nothing uh, that Orn can do. I think Orn's no. gonna go down here. Ooh, it's getting close. We Maybe see the Talia wall co. There's the Q. Orn is gonna go down. Oh, man, that's tragic. But really good for you and I there. That is really good for you and I. So, Drumming Gamer is gonna be up by mm -hmm. a thousand gold on Orn just seven and a half minutes in. And that's gonna be a two thousand gold lead for you and I. Plus destroy dude is just uh looks like he's looking mm, He's been for a spotted more? though by this yeah. ledge ward, so yeah. they're coming. RSU is gonna be looking for the the rotate and the collapse on him. Orn or okay, so he did just ult the cane. They're in they're in Brazil right now. Or Mordekaiser and Kane. They are out of Brazil now Ooh. as Orn's trying to save his cane. Now Orn has to fight this Mordekaiser who is way too fed uh, to be dealing with yeah. Orn goes down and will or sorry, eh, Kane goes down and will Orn go down too? We'll see. Oh, look at drumming. He's wanting it. Oh, oh the ult oh, from downtown. Oh, there he is. He's going to get it in the barrier. Oh, barrier. He's going to live. He's got a QE. Ah, he oh, lives there. with like 20 health. Oh, oh my god. Gosh. Oh, here comes, <laughs> here comes Kane. Let's see. Can, he catch up? can he catch up? Is this oh, the great man. escape? It is oh, the great escape. Dude. Oh my god. Wow. Drumming Gamer wow. with the play. And he can stay. He can stay. He can get this golden farm. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> I would, yeah, I was going to say. Probably a safe bet to maybe not push it too, too far. I'm very curious to see. That had to have been like five. 6 HP there. That was crazy low. That was crazy low. And uh, well played by Destroy here. He's gonna, yeah. he, he was able to get that recall off and immediately go towards the Drake. So when he saw the cane going after the Warwick for as long as he did, he was able, the bot lane was able to get Pryo and they're just oh, yeah. able to rotate over and get this Drake as the gap grows wider. Meanwhile, mid lane. Yeah, so every lane is ahead right now. Mm -hmm. Actually, bot lane's kind of even. Yeah. Misfortune does have a lot more farm than Jin, but Jin does have that oh, kill. Scuffle bot lane here. A little scuffle over vision. Yeah, gotta gotta fight for those sometimes. Mm -hmm. I mean, as the cane, you you can't you can't ignore a Warwick that low. Like every instinct in your body is telling you you can't let this guy get away. But yeah. Sometimes those chases, they just don't pan out, so. Then you cry a little bit, and then you get over it, and then you keep moving on. <laughs> yeah, you do have to shed your tear and wipe it away and yeah. try to keep yeah, going. That's, that's right. Not a lot going on. We, have, we do see Kane oh, hanging out in the alcove bot. Alcove looking for a little gamer. bit of a, Yeah, looking for a little bit of a gank here. Trying to get points on that blue farm. He is a patient man, this Kane. Last game he did this yep. too at the uh -huh. uh, Blast Code. 
here. As, he's as, lying, laying in wait here. Did, oh, so he here goes we go. to the wall, gets, go, chooses to go on the Melio, which I think is interesting. Melio flashes away, and Misfortune flashes forward to try to ult. Lux also flashes forward to try to get a catch, and it doesn't end up working. That's going to be two flashes down on RSU to try to get a pick on you and I, and it's, they're not going to find it. Meanwhile, on the river. Keep going, sorry. Uh, I'm just, I thought they were going to fight. What about Lux? I was going to say, Lux and Misfortune were a little bit far behind there. Maybe, ooh, that's big bounce on that's that some Q. fat damage. I was going to say, Lux and Misfortune were a little bit far behind. You know, sometimes as a cane, when you're going all in, you kind of forget that you're moving a lot faster and a lot farther than everybody else on your team, so. Yeah. I think um, both of bot lane on RSU flashing is going to end up biting them in the butt in the next five yeah, minutes. Yeah, definitely. We're going to see Mordekaiser with just a commanding lead over Kane right now. Just boldly go into the jungle yeah, and invade. Awesome he doesn't man. know he's there, I don't think. Uh, no, I think he saw him. Yeah. So we have. I have it set to red vision right now. Yeah. Oh, here comes drumming. He's not messing around. Oh! Oh, oh yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Excuse that me. combo. Ori and Talia duking it out. Here comes Destroy. Yeah, got to flash out. I think they're oh. immortal right now. Yep, they are. Sorry, it wasn't, it's kind of hard to tell. No, you're, yeah, it's yeah, really hard yeah, to tell yeah. from spectators to see if they're in the mortal. Drumming is still putting pressure up top here. Horn is getting out there. Yeah, definitely the right call. He's looking for the Orn there. <laughs> yes, he is. You and I's got about a six thousand or five thousand gold lead. Mm -hmm. Here comes Shelly, making it uh, an even bigger gap. Kane's gonna be looking for the gank here in mid. Is he gonna be able to find anything? It doesn't look like it. He's able to stop yeah. the Shelly, but he's taking quite a bit of damage and has to flash away. Yeah, I think definitely more of just uh, preservation of the, of the turret there, but uh, taking a lot of damage in the process. Now I don't want to count RSU out quite yet. No. But if they are not, if you and I is not able to close out this game, RSU does have comeback potential because Definitely. that Orn ult and that Misfortune ult and Lux ult, that could be a huge problem and, and Ori ult, especially with the blue cane. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, Milio is so good for that anti-engage that right. I don't, I don't think blue cane is going to matter. Would you have preferred to see a red cane this game? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, especially because there's the the Mordekaiser and... Right. I, I mean, honestly, I, I don't know about... I feel like Kane. If you're good enough with Kane, you can make any kind of game work, and I think that's the idea with the first pick of Kane. but I, it's just so hard, especially in these games when you and I comes out so far ahead. Right. Comes out swinging here. Yeah, you, Kane doesn't love to play from behind. Uh, we're going to see Backlit by Stars find the kill on the kill. Oriana there as Kane tries nice. to save, but he's not able to. Just he's... a barrage of rocks. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a form yet either. Oh, man. Can we see from Spectator? Yeah, he's he's ready to be darkened, so that's actually... Uh, yeah, he's he's waiting for blue. Yeah, that we're sucks. Against build, yeah. Infernal is up. Jetzel's looking to maybe get some vision here. Clear out the blast plant. No shenanigans today. Oh, we see the Jin ult come down. They are at the end of it, so he is going to go ahead and cancel it. I would have honestly used it to wave clear. Yeah, yeah. Issue is Nick Fury's a little low. If uh, Rogers wanted to do a Drake fight here, maybe contest, but drumming is going in. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't even realize. Yeah, they're both going in here. Yeah. I like this drumming Warwick dude. He's yeah, he's really getting in there. Right, the aggression is what you want to see on Warwick. Oh, good E. You see Oriana ult go down uh -huh. as you and I does get the first Drake here. 
I mean, sometimes that Ori ult is necessary, but it always feels bad to just use on one person, especially when a team fight is coming up, just like right now. Yeah, meanwhile, in the jungle, Orn is going to try to rotate to try to help his team. He was a little bit too late and also gets caught in the jungle. Drumming! Drumming, going for another pick here. He's going to be able to make it out. He does have to blow his barrier. Oh, it gets tagged by the Lux ult. He's looking pretty low, but I don't think there's anything that can finish him off. Kane is going to be taking his huh. camp here as Destroy Dude is just watching him in the bush. Oh no, he's caught by the EQ combo on Mordekaiser. He's not going to get killed. He lives. I was convinced he was just going to take him to Brazil right then and there. Yeah, me too. He might take Orianna. Yep, yeah. there he goes. There so go. Orianna and Mordekaiser are in the Mordekaiser ult right now. Orianna has nowhere to run. She's trying to flash and live. Nowhere to run, no ult. Yeah. That's going to just be a free kill for Mordekaiser jungle. He's now 5-0. Yeah, UNI definitely has the stronger early game comp. Yeah. But they, they do have scaling factor between the Jin, Mord, and Talia, so we'll see. I mean, it's hard to say, uh, say that because uh, we've got an 8,000 gold lead for UNI here, so yeah. it's kind of hard to get into the late game here when you're... Ooh. Ooh, big or an E. Drumming, Drumming was almost going to get caught there, but he also <laughs> way in low. Oh. That, that Talia. Um, That's all of RSU's damage. Whoa, they don't have any more to yeah. use. Yeah, so uh, you and I is just going to poke him out and kill them here and siege. That Talia E is so oppressive. It just it shuts down like so much potential oh, going in. Oh, we see the Orianna ult and Misfortune ult combo. Yeah, that, that worked ground or whatever. No, that's not what it's called. Rocks on ground, I call it. Yeah, the, the, the long rocks on ground thing is so annoying, <laughs> especially versus the Kane. If Kane uses his Q, he just gets stunned. Right. Destroy is just making mincemeat of Codex's jungle here. He does, yeah, can't really go in on that. Can't really pick a fight with a, what, 5 and 0? Oh? Yeah. Like I... So, uh, drumming is 3 0 oh and 2, Destroy is 5 0 oh and 4, and so is Talia, 5 0 oh and 4. Um, and also, really quick, I want to just take a second. I meant to say this earlier, but I'm saying it now. Anybody, any viewers on Twitch right now who want an interview after the game, put the name of the player in the chat that you want the interview for um, now. Uh, I th if they, if you and I loses this game, they'll have one more game. It'll be it's because it's best of three. But if they win this game, then it's gonna be over. Uh, as we see, Kane try to ult the Mordekaiser, and Orn also try to ult the Mordekaiser. Okay, looks like but Kane still doesn't have a form, three. by the way. Oh, that Jin damage on the Ori. No one is caught out here. Okay, so Mord is going to go down. That's going to be a 700 gold shutdown in Oriana's pocket. We'll see if that's going to be enough for Oriana to come back and save their team from this game. But I don't know. Yeah, as this is not looking too good. Here. I don't. I don't know because. Talia already has two items and Oriana's still working on that first one. Like, she's gonna have the completed item now that she got that shutdown, but uh, they're gonna need a lot more to come back because this UNI still has but 7,000 gold on RSU. Mm -hmm. And Rogers is staring down three tier one turrets yet. You're right. Ooh. Oh. Raiden lands the ult on the Oriana as she's trying to escape. And they're going to call in the Rift Herald top lane and get some turrets. Like I said before, that God, Talia E is just so oppressive. Yeah, it's really hard to play it cuts against. Off, it cuts off all opportunity. And look at the space that Drumming's buying for his team on Warwick right now. Or Orn has to step up and stop him from his team, but we see the Misfortune all go down. And try to po yeah, try to get some damage down. They do get some damage, but it's not enough to kill anybody, which is really what they need. We're gonna see Kane and Misfortune go behind. Kane finally has his blue form. What is he gonna be able to do with it? He hits the W on the Jin, but he's not gonna be able to commit. As comes drumming. Drumming's coming in on the Warwick. He's gonna find the Kane. Kane has to ult the Warwick to survive. Man. Kane's gonna be trying to run away here. 
as the rest of his team is going to try to fight. Oriana's coming in. She's going to be looking for this ult on all of you and I. You and I has got to watch out as fighting like, Ori in the jungle is dangerous, but it doesn't matter because Ori ults in only lands yeah. one, and uh, yeah, so that that Ori ult right here only landed on one you and I member, and RSU tried to. Oh. Drami has ult up again. <laughs> That's <laughs> nasty. That's crazy. Oh, he's got he's got a serrated Turk on Warwick. What's he building <laughs> with that? What's the secret? I want to hear. Oh, meanwhile. during that fight too, that. Backlit was just all of Rogers was kind of bottlenecked in the jungle there, and it was just get, they were just getting poked down just to the point of exhaustion. Oh, no life left. Oh, there's oh, the key. I was about to say Jin just tanked all of Misfortune in Lux's combo, but <laughs> was not able to fit it. tank the last Q from the Misfortune. That is going to be a top inhib turret for you and I, though. Maybe even a bot tier two. We'll see. Yeah. Doing a bit of a reset here. Yeah, I think um, you and I is a little bit, like, uh, they're not like. I think what they should do right now is all everybody back and reset and re siege. But yeah. I, I don't know if they need to because Mord has been across the map getting Drake and farming and getting pressure now. So we'll see. Oh, this Talia just does so much damage. Yeah. It's like RSU is gonna try to find the pick on her. They're gonna commit a little bit. Or it's gonna be all members of RSU in the bot lane for you and I. They they just oh, need to chill. Okay, so Mordecai's ult's gonna go down on the Misfortune. He is gonna find the kill on the Misfortune. We're gonna see the Talia wall go down and wall off two members of RSU. There goes Kane. Oh man, Orn's destroy gonna, is yeah. taking no damage. Yeah, Orn has to flash over the wall to live, but he ends up dying. We see the- Oh e my god, this e Joy dude is just killing everyone! No. Oh, the oh, Jin, Jin stole the Penta. Oh no! <laughs> he runs it down. <laughs> they tried to FF, I want to point that out. Oh man. Oh man. I mean, what, what can Rogers do? If they were going to go in at any time, that was going to be the time while well, it was a 2v5, but even then, they, they were just taking so much damage. Like, even in a 2v5, they were getting destroyed. Yeah, I, I honestly, a lot of that was a 1v5, except for the yeah. Talia wall. Like, it was it right. was just Mord in the... Yeah, Mord doing Don't Mord sleep things. on the Mord jungle. Uh-huh. Oh, meanwhile, in mid lane, we're going to see drumming land. Or not. Oh, he, got, he went Axiom Mark with that. Yes. That's crazy. Already on such a low cooldown for the Warwick ult with that Axiom Arc. I mean, it's just gonna be constant. Oof. Getting caught in the combo here. Jin's gonna get hit by three ults. That's, three I ults. mean, that sucks for Jin, that but, that's, but that's three ults out of the way. Is, yeah, that is a lot of commitment for one damage. person. Look at that game. damage! Oh my god! Oh my gosh. Oh, Nolan man. is getting run down here. I don't think Nolan has any chance to escape. Oh! Oh, hey, I corrected. Orn is gonna go down to the Mordekaiser oh. too. Yeah. It is just a slaughter at this point as you and I is up by six, fifteen thousand gold. Here goes backlit. The score is four to thirty-one. I think. I think you and I can end. Oh my god, oh my we god. see drill the drumming game room. Reckless abandon there. I love it. Chipping away. Only a matter of time here. Oh man. Rogers has gotta make something happen. Yeah, Rogers has to make something happen. They are on life support. Their Nexus is open. They're gonna find the pick oh, on Raiden. Oh, they're not able to! Warwick's healing is too much. He's gonna live as oh his team cleans gosh. up, and he frontlines for him. That is crazy. Raiden living through that, and oh, they're able to pull the Lux. Ace. Yeah, Lux out of her <laughs> fountain <laughs> to kill her, really? and that's gonna be serious for you and I. I think. That's crazy. What? What to even say after that? That was just. I'm gonna ban Warwick every game if I'm top every game.
really quick here. We're going to look at the damage charts. So we see Backlit by Stars tops it again, but the Mordecai's are coming out with a lot of damage. I think that was because he had a couple fights where he had his passive up and he was just uh -huh. inside of all members of RSU. That was really bad for them. With that Rhyalize too, it's hard to get out of that. And I want to point out the CC score of 54 on Backlit. So I think that's all the times he landed a W and all the times his E stunned somebody. That is crazy. Well, a lot of those fights were these these jungle fights, or um, maybe somebody else was was uh, frontlining like destroy or drumming, and backlit is just getting that consistent damage in throughout each one of these fights. Yeah, and um, I I want real quick before I talk about maybe doing an interview here, uh, we see Milio with the perfect support score of oh oh and twenty three. I like that. I love that. That's great, Jensel. Um. Yeah, so nobody put a name in the chat of who they wanted to interview. So, because uh, you're not here all the time, Mike, I'll let you pick. Who do you want to interview? Uh, don't pick Backlit by Stars because I think he's already had one. I was going to say, I am going to have to go with... <laughs> it's got to be drumming after that Warwick game. I, I want to hear their thoughts about um, from the draft to the game to going in. The Axiom arc, I want to hear all about it. Let me message their coach. Yeah, I've um... I kind of want to hear about the uh, the action, you know, just chipping away slowly up there and uh, getting consistent damage. I mean, pretty much just win the lane by. I see Essen pushing up slowly and surely. Yeah, the uh, both games were really good, but I think that second game where oh, he yeah. was like zoning like crazy on the Warwick was that did a crazy amount oh, for yeah. for you and I. Um, I think I might be able to drag him up, but I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Right, might be talking after. Yeah. No worries. We'll, we'll... we'll be all right. We'll hurt our feelings too much. <laughs> Man, no need to show off your. <laughs> I, I, I don't have the I don't have it so the stream can see my match history. Just oh, you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, I've got the stream set to be right back. Gotcha. But um, I've not heard from Coach at all. Just talking things over. I mean, a after those games, you know, I mean. Talk about what went well, what to improve, but I mean, that, that was pretty solid all around the board from everybody. Well, maybe I have to drag him in here. You might have to have perms to join this channel. Mm. I'll just do it. Oh, wait, I can't, I can't scroll up and drag at the same time. What a pickle. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, I've, um, I think I casted, and I think uh, Destroy, Brayden, and Jensel were on the team together last semester as well, so they do have that synergy together. Well, I mean, after how many years we've been playing together, you know, you just kind of get a feel for, you don't even hardly have to say anything sometimes, you just like, 
I, I know if this person's going to go in because I know their play style and whatever, and that really factors into how a lot of these team fights go. You know, it's a lot of chaos, but sometimes you just know uh, what your teammates are going to do. So it really helps out when you know your team. Yeah, I agree. Well, if it reaches, <laughs> if they, if it goes on for another minute or two and I still haven't heard from the coach, then I'm just going to end the stream and we're not going to do an interview. <laughs> I'll just I'll just write a letter and ask uh, how drumming felt. Because I do want to hear about him or yeah. hear from him specifically about that second game. That was crazy. Yeah, definitely. I mean, play as playing Warwick. If it always feels go so good just to ult in from across the map and just when that ult lands, oh man, that is a good feeling. Well, he had some crazy tower dives that were like oh, actually yeah. crazy. Oh, definitely. And the zoning of the wave was just, it was so oppressive that whole time on that Orn. Like, yeah. There, what can you do? You're trying to back under, like, you're close to your, your, your tier two. And you're trying to back, and this Warwick will not give you any space, you know? What can you do? Yeah, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call it at 8:37. I don't know what time it'll be on stream, but uh, if we if we don't hear from them by then, we will just not hear from them. Unfortunately, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I can I can drag people. Like I think I can drag you, but I don't know if I'm right. supposed to. Well, you can interview me if you want. Not very exciting though. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna call it then. Well, okay. uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, we'll see you next week. Uh, tomorrow, if you're interested, you and I is playing Overwatch. And uh, yeah, this has been Joe with Mike, and thanks for thanks for coming. It was a blast. Thanks for tuning in.